All right, here we are with the second biochar video, as you can see. Well, I finally got around to building this. I don't know if you can see, that's a paint lid with a lot of holes poked into it, strung off of wires, and the... Uh, uh, just chimney pipe. So, I'm going to shut this off, fill it up, and then we'll jump to stage two. Alright, I got it filled up to about two inches of the air holes. And you can see I've supported it with four nails. Pretty simple. So, I'm going to light this bad boy up and I guess I'll come back if it actually works. Here we are, just past... 14 minutes. This actually took a little longer to get running. I imagine that's because of the depth. Uh, there, I didn't mention earlier, but that's actually about three gallons worth of chips in there. You notice there's, you might notice there's a modification. Uh, there were some gaps around the top that I thought might be mixing in air and causing it to run poorly. If you can see down there, you can see a little smoke running around down there, but up top, no smoke. So it's burning the smoke. I hope it's gasifying really well. I won't know, of course, till it's done and I can put it out and break it up and see how it is. Um, but so far, it, it, the smoke is staying down in there, so hopefully I'm getting a good biochar. Um, and I've got a gallon of water here just in case you'll want you want that on hand put it out right when it's ready I thought I'd throw on something that I wanted to dry out and it looks like it's doing great generating enough heat I can put a pot on this and uh, cook something while I'm making this that would obviously be even better because I'm using the energy twice. Plenty of heat coming out of there. Running just fine. Alright, I've got a flashlight. It's starting to get dark. And there you can see it's dropped in volume by nearly half, I would say. Um, so, what you see, there's char, and I'm going to pull it out, and maybe I'll make a, another video showing it out, um, but it's looking pretty good, it looks like it made it okay, and I poured a gallon of water on it too, and I'm not going to waste that water, I'm actually going to use that water on my compost, so, nothing gets wasted. Alright, you can see... That's what you call incomplete char. Uh, this is really good. Looking really good. Bits of uh, brown in there, that's fine. For the most part. Got a good char, here's a big piece. It just crumbles in my hand. Of course all this will be dried and uh, put back through. Um, some of these partially charred pieces are perfectly okay. Uh, the char should remain after the wood has decayed. Um, but yeah, I'll have to figure out why this didn't completely char. Could be that the wood was a little wet. Could be that uh, I filled it too full and the air flow wasn't very good. Could be a number of things. So I'll certainly toy with it to try to figure out uh, what went wrong and try to get a better batch. But this is certainly a nice big pile that's going to go in my garden and I'm glad to have it. Now it worked out okay. Okay, today I'm going to make an adjustment because it didn't quite biochar all the way. I ran another batch of wood chips and I also ran a batch of pine cones and they, they did better. They charred further down. I also removed the lid, you can't see it, I'm sure, but all I have is a wire spider web down there. 
So the adjustment I'm going to make is I'm going to enlarge the jets, the gas jets at the top. We'll see if that improves the function. Well, the enlarged holes, I'm not sure if it's uh, helping or not. I did, however, decide to try one little experiment. Yes, yes, I know, using electricity, yada, yada, yada. Look at that thing go. It's just amazing. <laughs> That's turbocharged. That is some serious work. And it's really coming out the jets, although it's hard to see, probably on film. But even even after I turn it off, it's still it's the extra heat really starts the gasification going and look at it go. So you actually wouldn't need to run that full time, but it sure helps it get get it going. Although the point is not to use electricity. All right, so my fine tuning and adjustments actually made less char. So I obviously screwed up. Maybe the bigger holes wasn't the way to go. Maybe it was the fan running the fan. So anyway, I'm going to work on some kinks and probably put up another video. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to char the pine cones, which are in plentiful supply, and I'll wait to fine tune it uh, to do the bark or the, the tree scraps. So that's what it's all about. Not every project works the first time, or the second, or sometimes the third. So, more installments I would expect to follow.